Many riders anticipated a longer commute this morning and planned ahead for delays. WBZ's Nick Giovanni picks up our team coverage from Somerville. With the weekend dress rehearsal in the books, shuttle buses began pulling into the Wellington T station in Medford just after 5 a.m. Monday. The first weekday morning commute during the Orange Line shutdown. First time riding it. Um, it's like the first day of school, I guess. <laughs> so, Cautiously yeah. optimistic. With trains hibernating nearby for the next month, riders followed signs to board replacement Ooh. shuttle buses brought in from across the East Coast to make the rounds up and down the Orange Line. What do you, what do you make of the, the shuttle bus experience so far? It's a nightmare. A nightmare? But we'll survive. Facing the first true test of the shutdown, many riders gave themselves extra time getting from point A to point B. I got up extra early, so. It made it a little bit easier. Some found it confusing navigating the changes. I mean, it was a little aggravating because I'm just not used to like having to get off such as um like two or three buses and all that other stuff. Others coming up from Boston found the travel time comparable to a typical trip to work. Pretty much like almost like a normal commute on the Orange Line. In between test rides through neighboring Somerville, Mayor Katiana Ballantyne stopped near Assembly Square. Where a steady stream of buses picked up passengers along Grand Union Boulevard. My biggest concern, which continues to be, is the seamless integration from local to state roads, uh, that it is uh, safe, uh, reliable, and frequent service, and that it's centered on. You know, equity. The city, she says, is focused on giving commuters options for alternate modes of transportation over the course of the closure. I think this will show us that there's many ways to get around, and we have to try to make it safe for all users, whether they're pedestrians, whether they're bikers, uh, whether they're transit users. Well, the mayor shared with us teams at the state and local levels have been in daily communication with each other as well as with MassDOT. With today being the first real test, she expects they'll be taking a look at how everything played out to share ideas and perhaps more solutions. Reporting from Somerville, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News. This is why the Orange Line is shut down. Today, MBTA crews are working on the tracks at the Community College Station. The T says crews are cramming five years of repairs in in just 30 days. Over the next month, crews will replace tracks and upgrade signals. Stay with WBZ and CBS News Boston throughout the Orange Line shutdown. You can scan the QR code on your screen, by the way, to get access to street closures, bus routes, and other help for getting around the area.